2025 is in 4 months. Now, take your phone, pull up your screen time. If you have more than 3 hours screen time, I don't wanna hear any of your excuses, please. Starting today, if you spend every day 3 hours actually focusing on something, it will give you a head start for all the new year resolutions that you usually forget about by mid-January. I mean, 360 hours is not enough to become a world-class piano player, come on. But it is something. In my previous videos, I was giving advice that was mainly applicable for experienced developers. In this video, I'm gonna give Give advice for complete beginners, doesn't matter if you are a student, graduate, someone without a degree or someone who wants to make a career shift. And for the experienced people out there, feel free to chime in with your advice. There is always so much valuable advice in the comment section. And for the beginners, let me know what you are struggling with the most. Ok, so let's talk about how to make your time matter. Let's start by eliminating useless questions out of your life. I'm gonna be brutally honest and answer them once and for all, so you don't need to spend another thousand hours watching videos about it. What language should I learn? A variation of this question is, what is the best language? The answer is, it doesn't really matter. Pick Java, I don't care. Whatever language you pick in 20 years, it will not be as relevant as today. Except for C of course. C is the backbone of our society without even trying. But now, on a serious note, pick any language and type in YouTube, language name, full tutorial, that's it. Set up your laptop and follow the damn video. And don't pick one of these learn C in 10 minutes, there is no 6 minute app program for coding. Pick some 8 hour tutorial and don't rush. The goal is not to finish it as fast as possible, but to understand how stuff works. If you still don't know what language to pick, I'm gonna make it easy for you. Imagine picking your starter Pokemon, JavaScript if you like web development, Python if you want to learn data science, machine learning and so on, C++ if you are into pain, but also embedded development or game engines. Ok, next question. Should I go for a degree? If you have the chance, do it. If not, why are you even asking? Taking a computer science course will teach you stuff. I can recommend the CS50X course from Harvard. You can watch it for free on YouTube. Watch it and take notes, like grab an actual notebook and take notes from each lecture. Next question. Can I get a job without a degree? Yes. And now you can officially stop wasting your time watching videos with the title Getting a job in software without a degree, my experience. Watching another 50 of these videos won't help you in any way. You already know the answer, so stop watching it. Next question. Should I grind DSA? If you are preparing for an interview, yes. If you want to get better at algorithms and data structures, then yes. Now that you picked your starter Pokemon, spend some time with it. In my video How Lazy Programmers Outperform Everyone, I said that lazy programmers beat their competition by coding less. And this piece of advice was meant specifically for experienced developers. For beginners, this piece of advice doesn't apply, because how are you gonna know how to code optimally if if you don't know how to code in the first place. And let me explain this with the experiment from the book Art and Fear. Stay with me now. In a study, 50 participants were divided into two groups of 25. Group A was asked to create the perfect clay pot, while the group B was instructed to use 50 pounds of clay to make as many pots as possible. At the end of the month, the teacher reviewed the results and found out the group B, the group focused on quantity, surprisingly produced the best pot. The reason? Group B made so many clay pots that they actually got good at making clay pots. The same logic applies to beginner programmers. Early on, it's important to focus on doing as much as possible to develop and refine your abilities. Learn the basics, try stuff out, watch some more tutorials, read a book, and then start doing some beginner projects. You don't need to invent anything, go find a tutorial where someone codes something from scratch and follow. When you are done, try to modify it and go to the next one. Now for those asking, but Tariq, how do we know what project to build or what to do? Guys, just go to Google. Nah. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm going to share with you a really cool GitHub repo. Check this out. Project-based learning. 
these guys made this huge collection of projects. For the most common languages out there, they made a chapter with actually useful stuff. If you are into C, you can learn how to write a shell, or for those without any friends or a social life, you can learn how to write an operating system. I actually did this. Now, finishing these projects will not make you the CEO of a billion dollar company. It also does mean you will get a job after finishing this whole list. This is training material, okay? But very valuable training material. Always cycle between learning and practice. Let's say you learn for two hours and then you practice for an hour. Or you can go day by day. One day you learn and the next day you practice. When you get really good in one language, which will take some time, try a new one. Don't jump from language to language every day. And remember, knowing how to code a hello world in 20 languages is useless. And after spending let's say 3 hours a day for 4 months doing this, that's 360 hours, you will see some progress. Now let's talk about the stuff that impacts your progress. First, stop comparing yourself to anyone. Especially don't compare yourself to people online. The YouTube tech bubble will make you think there is only web development. Then it will make you believe that everyone worked at Google and Facebook at the age of 18 without any type of formal education. Everyone passed their first interview ever and everyone is earning somewhere between 60 and 70k per month without bonuses. Stay with me now. No matter what you do in life, there's always someone online who accomplished what you're struggling with by the age of 6. Better, faster and somehow wealthier, taller and more attractive than you. However, things tend to look a bit different once they step out of their mom's basement. Make screen time matter. Stop watching brain rot content. Stop chasing dopamine kicks. Stop watching reels all day. Watching, I don't know, basketball trick shots. You don't even play basketball. I'm not saying throw your phone in the trash and cut your screen time to zero. I'm saying take your screen time and make it matter. Don't let the algorithm and boredom steal like 8 hours per day from you. When it's work time, then it's work time. When you're done with work, then you can do whatever you want without feeling bad about it. Now listen, if you can focus, get yourself actual books. When I say read books, I mean books in a physical form. When you read a book, there are no pop-up notifications from your friend sending you 99 reels that you will never watch. Read, take notes and repeat. And last one, very important lesson, don't expect everyone to support you. This is especially important for people who are making a career shift. You can't please everyone and not everyone will understand where are you coming from. You have to be prepared to hear a lot of dumb shit. If they don't share your vision, well, they don't have to. You are the only one who needs to believe in yourself. Spending 2 or 3 years to learn all the stuff is not a waste of time. You know what is a waste of time? Spending 30 years doing something that's underappreciated, underpaid and you don't even like it. Put your time on the long shots and you will succeed. So that's it for today, thanks for watching and see you in the next one, Tariq 10x.